Hey y'all, Flower Plant Killer here, Jesse with Living on a Prayer Flower Farm. And in today's video, we are planting alliums. So I'm upping my fall bulb game. I've planted over a thousand daffodils. I've got about four or five thousand tulip bulbs going in the ground later this week and today we are planting purple sensation alliums and blue alliums so i've got 300 of the blue ones and a hundred of the purple sensations i've never grown these before so i didn't order that many but they're going to be gorgeous i hope these are going to bloom late spring we're going to dig our holes and then plant them pointy side up and there's a big difference in the bulb size here. The purple sensations are a nice, good size. I'm a little worried about the blue ones. The blue ones are pretty short. They're supposed to get up to two feet tall for the blue ones, but look how small that bulb is. While the purple ones get up to three feet tall. And they're squirrel and deer resistant, which is always a plus in my book. I'm hoping I'll have them in time to go with tulips, or maybe they'll be a great late spring to go with my ranunculus. We'll see. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so our purple sensations need to be spaced about eight inches apart and six to eight inches deep. The blue ones probably should be spaced two to four inches. If I had to guess, couldn't find anything online saying how far to space these. However, let's be honest, I quickly got tired of placing each little itty bitty blue allium in place. So I ended up just kind of sprinkling them in the trench because I was lazy. Probably gonna regret that in the spring, but it'll be okay. It feels great to be getting things done and moving on the farm. Spring Spring will be here before we know it. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to smash the like button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. 